Like somebody told me after Astitva, you should never play an immoral character. You hero you should never play an immoral character. You know, and I didn't get it. In fact, these characters were more interesting. I think they're scary to people because they push you to deconstruct yourself That's and it. rebuild. Right. You know, uh, so maybe I was not afraid of that. Abbasam Fatima Hashmi made her credited debut as a child star in the Devanand movie Hum Naujawan in 1985. Little did people know that this would be just the start of an actor that will pave the way to define what the modern day heroine should strive for. Whenever the debate about best actors of a generation commences, I like to think about what possibly is one looking for in defining the best actor, and I have some form of clarity regarding the same. I believe that one can be considered to be the goat only if they have the ability to constantly redefine themselves over several years, immerse themselves with a range of characters that make us forget about their presence outside of films, and still have the capability to be relevant and speak to an audience across generations. An actor that I feel fully fits this role and has successfully managed to impress audiences and the fraternity consistently over many decades is Tabu. an actor who is talked about in popular media as one of the best actors to ever grace hindi cinema but is barely showered with awards for the same what really makes me gravitate towards personalities like tabu and her choices is the journey that she has had with films especially with regard to the evolution of the content of her films many people forget about the fact that she was a part of several generic commercial bollywood films in the 90s everything from being the rook rook girl from vijaypath more or less an extended cameo of sorts in jeet and the quintessential bollywood heroine lead role in Prem. While she did her fair share of Telugu cinema and a Malayalam film like Kala Pani, she had still not created a foundation for herself to stand out in the plethora of commercial films that were being released. It was only after Gulzar acknowledged the abundant talent within her that was possibly being underutilized in Bollywood films that we saw a side of an actor that we always knew she had within her. presented at a time where there were barely any women taking risks outside of the norm of how heroines should be presented. Tabu as Virender still has to be one of the most heartaking performances by a female lead in a Bollywood movie. Set during the onset of the Punjab insurgency in the 1980s, Gulzar presented a story of how a population can just like a matchstick be used for good or absolute annihilation in their surroundings, all predicated from the experiences one has. The last shot of the reunion between Biran and Pali is something that I often watch again as it presented not only a compelling story but raw actors being absolutely vulnerable to the vision of a creator like Gulzar. There seemed to be no looking back for an actor like Tabu who bagged a national award for the same and she went on to create a beautiful blend between commercial visibility and necessary stories helmed by women in lead roles. In a short span of time Tabu had the ability to convincingly portray a shy and demure character in a movie like Virasat and an opinionated and resolute character in Astitva with beautiful ease. People forget about the era of the late 90s and early 2000s where Bollywood was mostly saturated with romantic films and at the same time we had an actor like Tabu who was making bold choices like Astitva and Chandni Bar. The concept of fictional characters being immoral on screen was looked down upon as the perception of most leading women was that they had to be pious and loyal and here you had an actor who didn't think twice in playing these imperfect women on screen. something that we sing praises of probably today as revolutionary with respect to the representation of women it was already being done by an actor at a time but there was an absolute dearth of the same rewatching chandni bar was one of the toughest things for me as i had completely erased from my memory how truly dark this film was the quality of storytelling by madhur bandarkar in what is in my opinion his best film The story of Mumtaz trying everything in her fiber to end the toxic cyclical process of her own offspring getting into the same rut that she is in only to miserably fail and be helpless is heartbreaking in every shape and form and Tabu deservedly bagged another national award for the same making me think that she could easily be considered as one of the greats But what really stands out for me is that despite the lack of mainstream media attention the actor was getting during that time, she still had the ability to constantly experiment and reinvent the perception people have of her. She never really became as only the indie artist because she never had shame in diversifying her content choices. While the mid 2000s had a huge lull period with forgettable commercial ventures, Tabu still had the ability to give possibly what can be regarded as one of the most haunting performances by a leading lady in a Bollywood movie with Makbool. A performance as Nimi, channelizing the vile, unhinged and borderline demonic aura of Lady Macbeth was enchanting to say the least. The chemistry she shared with Irfan in this film was intoxicating. 
constantly compelling me to rewatch the Meri Jaan sequence as it just presents actors being on their A game as Vishal Bhardwaj creates magic on screen an art of financial failure didn't matter to most as this film still stands the test of time for its unique storytelling and again an actor like Tabu pushing the envelope of what should be demanded from actors she didn't feel intimidated to do a beautiful english film in the form of the namesake as well assimilating perfectly with the new language and atmosphere as actors should be adept at doing anyway it's safe to say that she set the benchmark really high doing the same with life of pi years later could this actor have the ability to be relevant in the next 10 years as well little did i know that the best was yet to come it boggles my mind on how the actor who has bagged so many national awards has been only a recipient of a handful of indian film awards for the same it's just reflective of what the film industry is really rewarding in the name of acting catering more to the commercial viability of people rather than their skill What I love about Tabu as an actor of her stature as well is that she consistently does roles in movies that are not necessarily main leading lady roles but contribute immensely to the film and its storyline and sometimes even in those short running minutes having the ability to either elevate the story or be its biggest highlight When I think of her performance in Bharat being probably one of the most emotional and convincing moments from the film or her contribution in a movie like De De Pyar De lending the most nuanced social perspective to the film the actor genuinely has a keen eye for contributing to the movie rather than being insecure in any shape and form of the screen time that she has I think the 2010s is really where we saw Tabu in her prime which solidified in my mind that she is undoubtedly the goat at least of the actively working actors since the 90s the sexist connotation of there being a shelf life for female actors in bollywood was casually dismissed by tabu as she is in the prime of her career at an age where most women are told that they are done and dusted in the industry her portrayal of gazla meer still has to be one of the best character roles i've seen in the last 10 years in the hindi film industry Her choices to the disgust of her son make for a character to slowly crumble as the surroundings seem to turn to ashes. Everything from Oedipus, Kashmir and Hamlet was adapted with such detail and precision by Vishal Bhardwaj, but he often mentions how he wouldn't have done Heather with anyone except Tabu, probably reflecting on why it became so memorable. Tabu even in an inconsistent film like Fitur as Begum Hazrat Jaan was the sole reason why the adaptation of Great Expectations became momentarily engaging her disgust at Noor's advances only reflective of her past trauma translated into one of the most haunting performances i have seen lately nothing however beats the versatility of tabu still having the ability to have some nasty fun as simi making life for akash and andadun absolute hell just because the poor guy said yes to a gig by a yester year actor the sheer intimidating presence tabu brought to the role of simi is something that we cannot really expect from any other actor in this current generation while there are many actors in the commercial space that are given a lot of attention in mainstream media and they might bag several film fair awards for their performances i genuinely feel when you solely address the craft of acting Tabu really stands out in every shape and form as one of the best we have ever seen on screen.